right, friends. Welcome to the Stop, Collaborate, and Transition. I'm so excited. Um, okay, so in the chat, tell me what team you guys are representing. As I mentioned just a second ago, um, I'm so excited about our group wide training tonight. Um, so many different teams represented and the um, just collaboration that we'll have tonight. You'll get to hear from lots of different directors and I'm super excited. You'll get to hear from lots of rock stars. Um, and that is super, that is super exciting to me because I don't have to talk the whole time. I know you guys are gonna love that even better. Yes, Melody, Wax Bars and Superstars, Team Party Paws in the house. Yay, Chrissy, Team Divinely Blessed. Hi, Tony, Wickless Excellence. Yes, Hope, my brain got really dumb just a second ago. Uh, more Team Divinely Blessed, Magical Accents is in the house. More Gold Diggers, yay. Say yes to the sense, Team Say Yes to the sense. I love that name, it's just perfect, right? Um, Sensational Accents, Wickless Excellence, Team If You Can Dream It, The Scented Stars, more Team If You Can Dream It, the S Team Sweet Southern Accents is in the house as well. I know this cord back here is making me back crazy and it's actually going to my diffuser so I may just yank that thing right up out of the wall because I hate cords. And the crazy thing is I wonder if something's fallen because normally every cord in my house is hidden. Yeah, Connie Hill's team is representing big, right? I thought the same, thank you. <laughs> um, all right, sensational accents. Yay, you guys, this is so fun. So I wanna be mindful and respectful of your time. And so we're gonna start on time. Well, actually I'm one minute late, but I got caught up in reading the amazing chat. Keep those um, team names coming. It's so fun to see where you guys are tuning in from, which team. Um, I love this time of year. And I think all of us look forward to the fall so, so much. Um, but if I'm being honest, it's a lot to digest, right? And I've been in this for 13 years. I can't even imagine being a brand new consultant or even two or three years new and being in a place where you were trying to digest all the information that's being thrown at you, know what to order for the transition, know how to market and how to move your business from one catalog to another. I feel like that um, the way my brain works, it would be, I would be super overwhelmed. And so I'm very thankful that um, the directors underneath me and everybody was just super on board about collaborating together. And let's, let's do this training for our downline to help you guys maybe get some tips and tricks. Maybe you've been a while, around a while and you've transitioned multiple times, but maybe you've never really transitioned with success. Maybe you're, you're always, you feel like you're always a few weeks behind because I've been that person too, right? Where I'm like, okay, I ordered my stuff, but I still feel like I am nowhere near ready to transition. And so um, tonight we are praying, all of the directors underneath me, we are praying that you leave with um, just a confidence and an excitement for all things fall. Um, there's a lot going on in Cincy land right now. A lot of LTOs. You're going to hear that word a lot tonight. It stands for limited time offers. Yeah, I think that's what it stands for, LTOs. Um, you're, we've got a lot of LTOs that come, right? Um, we've got the holiday and the harvest brochures that are going to be coming. We're going, I mean, like we've got a new incentive period that's going to be starting. We've got so many things to think about. But right now it's the, well, it's not, the middle of July, but it's pretty much like the mid July. And right now, the only thing that we believe that you should be thinking about is making sure that you're setting yourself up for the best fall winter catalog season ever. We only change catalogs twice a year, right? So let's do it right. Let's do it wonderful. So we're going to start off with guest speaker, Connie Holland. Let me find her and I'm going to make her big and There she is, y'all. Give it up for Connie. Um, she is going to chat with us um, on our first topic of getting ready for this new fall winter season. <clears throat> All right, take it away, Queen. All right. Hey, thanks, Laura. So like Laura said, um, what is catalog transition? We've got, it's twice a year. We have two catalogs, uh, fall and winter, spring and summer. So that's August and February. So this month uh, is our transition month. It's a really big deal for a lot of reasons. Uh, first off, 
So July 1st through August 31st, most all of our spring and summer uh, catalog products are 10% off, 20% um, off discontinued. So that's really cool. Excluding, excluding Perfect Sensi Systems, licensed products, charitable calls, with box. So that's really big to know, 10% off the catalog, 20% um, off discontinued. Discontinued, super important for club. Um, and they're not going to get it after the end of this month. So you have to make sure you educate your customers there. Um, and then we have our transition business supplies. Several very important things to pay attention to there. First of all, it sells out. Things sell out. And I believe it did. Our transition business toolkit did sell out, but that's okay. You can still order those supplies a la carte, individual, if you will. Um, I think everything's in stock. I checked to make sure everything was in stock. Everything's 10% off except product sheets. Pro no, no. Uh, what am I trying to say? Product list. The product lists are on back order until August, but they'll be in. Yeah, those are on back order, but everything else is good. And I did the math on it too. If you order the supplies individual, it's the same difference as the business transitions tool kit. So if you didn't order it, no sweat, just order the supplies individual. Know that you can add those to an open party, or if you're closing an individual order from your workstation, you can add a pack of brochures. Um, you can add one catalog if you want. So be sure and do that. What else we got? We've got the new season sales kits are available also. Um, and those are on your workstation. You have to order those through individual order or closing of a party order, but you've got your clean line bundle, your body line, laundry, home, and scent. Um, and that's about all I got, Laura. Am I leaving anything out? Oh, looks like she went away for a moment. Um, <laughs> you did perfect. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> No problem. You're good. I was going to find something else to talk about for a second. But <laughs> English, don't forget English, you guys, and pay attention to fall and winter or spring and summer. Um, don't let that spring and summer sales price for two fifty dollars on product sheets get you like it did me. <laughs> I ordered five packs on accident, but at least they were English, so I'll still use those. Um, but E-N-U-S, very important. Very good. Thank you so much. So what was something that Connie said that you thought um, – maybe what stuck out um in Cincy land we like to call things aha moments there are these you know light bulb moments of things like man I would have forgotten that I'm so glad she reminded me or oh yeah shoot um that's a good thing to think about or to know right what was that moment for you um when Connie went through her um notes what was that thing that stuck out to you all right put it in the chat thank you so much Connie I loved I loved what you said so um, I was going to hold up those things that are out of stock are these. And if you, Connie, did you hold them up? I had to rescue Maple. She was barking her head off at the back door. Um, did you hold these up? She went away. I'm going to pretend that she didn't. Anyway, these are the product list. You get 150 of them for, I think, $9. And I don't know if that's before the discount or not. But anyway, I really love them. Um, I like to fold them and then fold them again and put them in an envelope. Um, so anyway, that's what's out of stock right now, but totally worth it when they come back and start, grab them. Okay, so I'm up and I'm gonna talk to you about what happens in July. I know that we're 21 days into July, I get that, but it's never too late to build a strong foundation for where you're going, right? Can everybody hear me okay? I think I am doing good. Yeah, okay, good, sometimes I, Okay, cool. So on July 1st, um, we started seeing the, well, I think actually, I believe it was July 1st. Anyway, the fall winter catalog. I have one right beside me because I am so obsessed and I'm going to go ahead and be honest. You know, I'm brutally honest. We've had some catalogs even recently that I didn't love the cover of. I'm a design like freak. I am so drawn to design and graphics and you know, like I just have a whole part of my heart that just craves good design. Cincy nailed this, y'all. They did so good. Like this is very on trend. And so I have been in the past really excited about covering this mug up. I don't want to cover this up. It's so beautiful. It is so pretty. I think they did a really good job. Um, but anyway, in this new catalog, there are, um, you also can get the digital version of this on the workstation, um, as well as, and many of you guys might not know that this exists. I didn't know it existed for a long time, but some smart Sensi sister or mister in the world puts our catalog to a flip catalog. 
that is way cool. And so if you have not gotten your hands on a flip catalog, get with your director after tonight's training and maybe ask them if they have come across a flip catalog that you could see. I love sharing the flip catalog with my customers, but nothing replaces that hands-on feel, even if it's hands-on like this, or where's my other, I feel like I have so many things around me. So my favorite version of a catalog is the showcase brochure. Same content, it's just really nice to have everything at a glance, like bam, bam, right? I love this chart. I usually will laminate one of these. So I'll cut it out and I'll laminate it and I keep it in my house because I have a hard time remembering what all we have. Like, especially it takes my brain a little bit to catch up to the new catalog. I also laminate this. This is a beautiful clean version of all of the essential oils that we sell. And this is so wonderful for helping me remember, oh yeah, we do have a um, lemon um, in oils. So when I have a customer that asks for a lemon bar, if we don't have a lemon bar that I can um, suggest, a lot of times I'm following up with an oil or maybe sometimes I'm suggesting the oil first. Okay. Anyway, the August scent and warmer of the month. So who can tell me what the August warmer of the month is? Put it in the chat. <laughs> oh man, I was really thinking that I would stump you guys. <laughs> They're too smart. Nope, there is none. You're right. So there is none. So way to go. Now I have a question for you. Where did you learn that from? Did you learn that from the workstation or did you learn that from Facebook? <laughs> so if you learned it from the news tab, well done. If you learned it from an end of the month live, also well done because that's called learning it from the horse's mouth, right? I want you to always be mindful of the source of where you get your information from. Don't leave it in your director's hands to communicate with you, even though your director rocks and I think they're awesome. Um, and you think they're awesome, but it's not their job to spoon feed you information that's available to everyone on the workstation. Does that make sense? Like they didn't ask me to say that, but I'm just telling you that honestly, start really being mindful of how you are getting your information and making sure that you're getting it from the right source. So there is no August warmer of the month. You're right. There is a August scent of the month and you can still get it. And it's really awesome. Okay. So what also we found out in July was fruity outdoor and relaxed bundles, but they are while well, well supplies supplies last. We also learned about the discontinued list. These are the things that are not guaranteed to ever come back. And you'll have people ask you, Laura, I saw on the discontinued list that they're doing away with jammy time. Jammy time wax is going away. And people will ask me, Laura, are they ever going to bring it back? And that's when I tell them, I can't, I can't know that. Like, I have no idea. Get it in your club, like across the board, get it in your club, right? Because we aren't in the know of what they're going to bring back next spring, summer. Now, I hope that they bring back some of these that they've taken away, but we can't be assured of that. So that's when you send them to club, right? And if you don't personally have a club, then I think that should be the first thing you do when we get off our training tonight is go to your website and make yourself a dang club, right? Um, that's a story for another time, but there's a lot of reasons why you need that. Okay, so anyway, um, typically wax isn't in the, um, oh my gosh, Maple, stop. Um, my dog is literally making me crazy. Um, you have to watch the discontinued list to know exactly what is on there. I always consider myself um, a failure if I don't get the discontinued list in my customer's hands before the halfway mark of the month. So that's the 15th. Because I realize that everybody doesn't get paid every single week. And so it's very important to me that I give them enough notice I know today's the 21st and some of you guys might be feeling like super guilty right now, but it is not too late. It is not too late to get that discontinued list in the hands of your customers because how awful is it going to be August 1st when they find out that they can't get something, stop, they can't get something that they've always gotten before and who are they going to blame for not telling them? They're going to blame you. Or here's what happened to me about three years into my Sensi journey. I became super awful. 
I mean, like I was not the Cincy hero to a couple of my customers. They learned about something discontinuing from someone else on Facebook. I want to be the person that educates my customers. I don't want them to learn and to look to someone else. So you have to be your own customer's hero. Don't be the guilty one come August 1st when someone tries to order jammy time wax and you're like, oh, we got discontinued. And they're like, oh, I had no clue. Help them now, right? Okay, so um, let's see. Pro tip, ready for a pro tip? The discontinued list is a big deal and customers love to grab these um, fragrances up and this is your chance to help them stock up. Um, the Scentsy Club is great, but some people will want to stock up in a big way. So like what my customers are doing now is they're getting like two six packs while things are discontinued or while things are on sale. And then they're still putting it in their club, but they're putting it in their club like maybe two every single shipment. Does that make sense? They're stockpiling, but then they're using club to keep feeding their obsession long-term, if that makes sense, okay? So don't only push club, also get them to stockpile while things are super discounted. So um, I think that's everything. Oh, I, one more thing, pro tip. Um, remember that Scentsy Club is just for wax. Um, it's always get my bar. It's not always get my room spray. It's not always get some of the other things that might be discontinuing, if that makes sense. All right, so um, it feels weird doing this to myself, but what was your aha moment of what my part was just now? What was something that I said that you hadn't thought of before? Maybe something that I showed that you hadn't ever seen before? Um, maybe a light bulb moment went off while I talked. Maybe you're just really glad that I'm done. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> I am too. All right, so while you're putting that in, I'm going to turn it over to Ashley Nunnery. She is one of our amazing leaders, and I am going to bring her to the floor. Oh, I wanted to go away. Hold on. Ashley, your background is so beautiful. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's and your hair you look so put together and professional okay I'm going to shut up and let you um chat with us about all the fun things hey yeah so I'm going to talk about this sale which Connie and Laura kind of touched on but um I love that semi-annual sale who doesn't love a good sale I know we've been spoiled um with clearance and flash sales but um this is that time when they can stock up on those things that are going away um, if you haven't already checked out what what's going away, the discontinued list. Oh, that's blurry. I don't know if you, anyway, you can print it off your workstation and see all the things that are going away. Pretty much everything on that discontinued list is going to be either 10 or 20% off, except for the licensed items, you know, the Disney and um, yeah, the Disney items aren't going to be included in the sale, any of the licensed products or the charitable cause um, products. Um, so that leaves just about everything else that's going to be on sale for 10% off. The things that are going away, um, you know, like we talked about the jammy time and some of the warmers that are being discontinued, those are going to be 20% off um, while supplies last. And um, so time to scoop up all those good deals. And, um, and then also, like Laura said, get them uh, to put those favorite scents into Scentsy Club. Uh, before the end of the month so that they can keep getting uh, jammy time or um, sea salt avocado. I'm really surprised about that one or their sunken citrus, get that in club. Um, so they're not coming to you in um, August, September. I need some sunken citrus. So um, they'll be really sad. Um, so like I said, almost everything's included. What is not included is um, anything with an asterisk in the catalog, which I'll go ahead and tell you that's the license, the um, products, the um, uh, charitable cause warmer, um, and the perfect Scentsy system. Um, that's gonna be the warmer with the six bars or the two warmers with the six bars. But um, what I think is really cool is that Scentsy does include some of our awesome bundles in the, in the sale. Yeah. Um, and you've probably seen a flyer floating around with our awesome clean bundle that's on sale. And um, <clears throat> so, and I don't know why it's making it blurry, but this, uh, I put a cleaning bundle into a bucket and um, it's on sale for $22.50, y'all. Um, my customers are eating that up. They want that, um, that bundle when you present it 
all cute and together. You can, if you have some stuff on hand, like pods, you can do six pods um, and, and show them what a good deal they're going to get on that because we know they're already buy five, get one free. But since he sweetened the deal and has given us another 10% off of that bundle, um, so they can get six for $45. Um, what else? The um, Oh, and if you've been, um, don't feel guilty if you've slacked off and haven't um, already told your people about the sale, um, <clears throat> you can send them the link to the last chance um, tab. And that's on your workstation, I mean, on your website. You go under specials and it's called last chance. You can just uh, copy that link and send it to your customers and just say, hey, if you wanna grab anything on sale, um, you know, look at these items that are going away and let me know what you need. Um, six pack of bars, six pack, you know, all the six packs. Um, biscuits sold 20, sorry, I'm getting distracted. She sold 20, I think of the cleaning bundles. I think that's what she said, that's awesome. And um, so yeah, if y'all haven't been uh, maximizing the bundles, do that. Find, uh, take a picture of your bundle or find a good flyer um, and uh, get those bundles sold. And um, let's see, what did I not say? Okay, so some other things that aren't discounted are the consultant kits, um, warmer, I mean, uh, yeah, warmer and scent of the month is not an additional 10% off. Um, let's see. And Connie already talked about the business supplies that were on sale. And any of the new LTOs that are coming out are not going to be included in the sale. Um, so, yeah, um, that's mainly it for the for the sale. I mean, I'm just super excited to, to sell all the summer things and get ready for fall. Um, I think I was just telling someone that I'm really, you know, I'm not ready to rush summer, but I get excited about the fall catalog. So Same. good luck. All right, friends. So um, what did you think of Ashley's um, chat? And was it, was there something that she said that really stuck out to you? I know I have several things that um, these girls have said already. Um, I'm bringing Michelle Bradley on because she is going to, um, dive deep into our next topic and I cannot wait to hear what she says keep filling up the chat with um Ashley's with your aha moment from Ashley's chat all right Michelle it's yours queen oh she's quiet hold on let me ask her to unmute there she is okay Thank you so much for this opportunity to come on here and talk to you guys tonight. I'm super excited to talk to you about the business supplies that we need for transition month. Transition month is one of the most exciting times of the year for us as CNC consultants and business supplies are um, make up a huge part of the transition period. So I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about that. So uh, what supplies do we need for transition? So I would recommend that you make a list of what uh, you're gonna need to transition over to fall winter and make a list of what you already have. And a lot of you will have a full set of testers that you may have, if you join in spring, summer, you've got spring, summer testers and you've got some of those classic scents that stay year round. Um, let, let me just take a moment though. And just, just take a moment. Y'all, you guys were talking about Jamie time discontinuing. Can we just have a, a minute for just breathe? Can we do that? Just breathe. It's going away. It's being discontinued. And that just breaks my heart. But anyway, so we'll get away from that. Just breathe. Jamie time, yes. Squeeze the day. Oh my goodness. Have you ever mixed squeeze the day and Jamie time together? and put them in the warmer together. Oh my goodness, that is wonderful. Just so you know. So please, if you are a lover of those scents, if you don't have a Scentsy Club, I agree with Laura, just as soon as this is over with, go ahead and sign up. And you have to add at least Jamie time and squeeze the day to that club order. And for me, it's just breathe. 
because that is the cleanest, most wonderful, earthy, I'm a woodsy, earthy type of scent type person. And so just breathe is my jam. Lemon, eucalyptus, it's beautiful. But anyway, so back to my, my list here, the list. So um, first of all, one of the supplies that you're going to need, of course, you can't do your business really um, strategically without your transition testers. And so your transition testers, um, this is how many you get. This is going to include your fall, winter scents, everything that is coming to us in the catalog that is fall, winter, that are brand new, and any of the returning fall, winter uh, testers that we may have had last year that is not in the spring, summer catalog. They are included in this transition set. So you'll be able to take your full set, remove the spring, summer scents from it, and replace those spring summer scents with the fall winter testers, okay? So that's the first most important thing that you need to have for transition. And I think right now our transition tester kit is on sale like um, Ashley was talking about and I think Laura mentioned it too. Um, just you can uh, look at your consultant store for that price but I want to say it's a little under $20 for that transition kit. Um, tester set so and it's 20% off for this month only so if you wait till August to get that set you're going to pay a significant amount more for it so we definitely want you to go ahead and grab that now um, let's see also keep in mind that if you've got a full set of testers and you've had them for a while um, three four years or so you know I've got quite a few myself it's probably time for me to go back in there and just take a look and give them a little sniff and make sure they're still nice and fresh and that you can smell them. Um, sometimes, uh, for instance, I think Clean Breeze, um, as strong as it is, will sometimes lose its scent and its color. Um, it even will turn a white grayish color after a while. So that may be one of those um, scents that you might want to replace and if you've got quite a few in your full set that's just not as strong as they used to be then it may be time for you to replace that full set the full set is not on sale for july but it's only 34 dollars for the whole shebang and i think that's 80 plus cents so that's not a bad um a bad business expense and again it's a tax write-off so just keep that in mind as well um, another thing that we um we think is a very important piece of business material for you to have is the um, scented stickers. These, uh, they, I think there's 72 of them in each pack. And right now you can get all of the new fall and winter scents um, in, a, in a set. I don't remember how much they are. I want to say, um, I thought I had it wrote down, but I don't have it wrote down. But anyway, just check your consultant store for these. They go pretty fast, so I don't expect them to last very long. But these are wonderful to uh, put on your catalog. You can thumb through your catalog and find some pages here of, say, fragrance flowers. And if there's a new scent that you have a sticker for, maybe fluffy fleece which is uh, one of our new scents in the fragrance flower. You could stick one of those stickers on there. If you've got some um, laundry stickers left over and you could stick one of those on your laundry pages in the catalog. So those are great to have. I think they're only in the laundry and the pet scents and such. I think they're only $3 for a pack of those. So you could um, definitely utilize those for that. These nifty little guys, you can print off of your team page a lot of times, or if you just go to Facebook in general and um, put it at the top in the search bar and put in FW um, scented sticker, sometimes you'll bring up a template like this that someone has made on Canva and um, print these off on your printer or have them printed at one of your local print shops. And uh, with Canva though, if you download, you can even download the free version <clears throat> and you can take and download this template and put your own information. Like this is my QR code that will take, take my um, customer to my website. And so all they have to do is scan that QR code and it'll take them straight to my website. 
Now I like to utilize my paper. And so on the back of this template that I downloaded from one of um, the pages, it may have even been Laura's page, I don't even know. But um, I put on the back information about Scentsy Club because that is, someone mentioned how important Scentsy Club is um, earlier. This is guaranteed PRV every month. And if you're not telling your customers about Scentsy Club, you're doing your business a huge disfavor. So Scentsy Club is a hands-off approach to your business that your customers can sign up for and get, um, you get PRV and they get free items. They get um, perks for being in the club and such as that. So I definitely, we've even got an incentive going on this month. So you definitely want to utilize that incentive and utilize that program to your benefit. But anyway, these are super cute. Use them, print them off. Good way for you to get this in the mail. Very um, inexpensive flat rate postage. Yeah. Love it. it. Love it. Thank you, Michelle. All right, you guys, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to go back and think about all of the amazing content that Michelle just gave you and find one thing that maybe stuck out to you. And sometimes when we do these trainings, you're hit with so much information, it can get overwhelming. And so it's nice to just kind of like narrow it down to one or two ideas, one or two action plans, one or two things that you want to put in place or try to remember. All right, I'm bringing Karina Rhodes on. She is a leader in our group as well, and she is going to share some cool things with you. Karina, I am turning it over to you, my queen, and I just unmuted you, so you should be good to go. Hello, everyone. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Um, I hope I sound okay. I'm extremely exhausted, <laughs> but I'm, I'm good. I'm here. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me, Laura. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, go over a few more things uh, to be mindful about whenever you are stocking up for um, transition, just to get ready. Um, a couple things have already kind of been spoken over the fall and winter catalog. I definitely want to take advantage of the fact that they are on sale, um, especially if that's not like your primary buy. For me, whenever I transition, I typically buy maybe two packs of the catalogs just because I prefer to use the showcase brochures because they're a little bit cheaper and, um, so I pretty much only get enough to send out to my loyal customers that I know are going to buy, you know, during the new catalog. So I pretty much just get those for like my VIP members and I will um, mail those. And so now's a good time to get those while they're on sale. And um, also the showcase brochures, as Laura was talking about before, they're just, they're really great and really cheap to mail as well. You can fold, you can usually fold them over in like half and you can still fit them in the same catalog bags um, or most envelopes. And they're also really nice to hand out whenever you have events and things like that. And they're still like, you know, pretty and you still get that, like they still, the customers still get that fun, exciting feel of, ooh, I have a book, <laughs> you know, without it costing you like $9. <laughs> so um that's a really good alternative, um, especially if you know you're thinking you might not want to buy as many or any of the catalogs. Um, also, the product lists, the product sheets. I believe they said they're on back order right now, <laughs> but those are amazing, especially for whenever you're making like sample packets and things like that. And whenever you're going to need to hand out a large quantity, if you have a big event or anything like that, those are perfect for that because it's a lot more like cost effective for you to be able to hand out multiples of those, um, especially if you feel like maybe there's a chance they might not buy, <laughs> but they can still, you know, experience, get the full experience without it costing you a lot. Um, another one is definitely the fall and um, winter, the product training guide. Those things, I feel like a lot of people forget about them or they don't know. Yes, Laura's holding at one right now. <laughs> they really are amazing, especially whenever we have new products, like brand new products come out, um, because those books are filled with really good like tips on how you can learn how to use them and just like tips on how to market them to you know people that would be able to use them. 
Um, I know that whenever the mini fan diffusers came out, that was having the product training guide was like really, really great for me because I'm like, I don't understand how to use these things. <laughs> and so it basically just broke it down and was like, okay, well, your target audience is going to be these people. And so those things, um, they're usually only like $2, I believe. And I usually get a few and I kind of like, whenever I buy them, I kind of give myself a goal of how many people I want to um, join my team within the catalog. And so I'll get enough for that. So if I know if I want to get like seven people within this, then I'll buy like seven of them and make it my goal to make sure to hand them out to people that I really do feel would be um, interested in joining Cincy and, you know, joining the dream team. <laughs> but um, just some pro tips, of course, I can't remember who said it. I know it's the first, I believe Connie was the first one. Make sure that you're checking the language in the country because I believe we've all done it at least once. <laughs> and if you haven't, you just haven't been in long enough and eventually your day will come. <laughs> so just be very, very mindful of that because um, it's very, very easy to do. Um, also, just, um, just be aware that there is FAQ that you can search for on the workstation if you ever have any questions about any um, specific categories. And um, of course, make sure to budget whenever you're getting ready to check out. Make sure that you're not overspending. If you can't afford something, then just try to supplement it another way. You can't get catalogs, get the showcase brochures. Can't get showcase brochures, get the product sheets because those are gonna be a gajillion, okay? <laughs> but happy transition. Thank you so much. You're so awesome. Thank you for sharing. You guys know what to do. Um, put in the comments, man, something that she said that just kind of popped and made your heart a little bit more excited about being a Sensi consultant at this transition time. Because you know, guys, Karina's been around a while. Michelle's been around a while. Ashley and Connie and I and the remaining speakers that we have coming up. We've been around a while. This is definitely not our first transition rodeo, right? But there is like a bubbling excitement that I get in my heart, especially for fall. Like I love spring and summer, but fall is my jam. And so fall just makes me happy to be alive. And then you add Scentsy to it. And I am like, I can't wait to get out of bed each day. Like, I can't wait to um, see what's happening in Scentsy land. And so anyway, I want to open up the product training guide. I'm actually going to give one of these away tonight, um, but don't wait for a giveaway for you guys to grab these, um, whether or not they make good gifts for your team. Um, sorry, I have frogs. You hear them? They're so terrible. Do you hear them? They're terrible. I mean, like awful. Anyway, um, but I just want to talk a little bit about what makes, um, I mean, Karina perfectly described these things and told you the value of them. But one of the things that I really see consultants do really well, and then sometimes what I see consultants not do really well, is talk about enough of the nerdiness. Like, since he's great, but don't just try to sell a diffuser because it's a diffuser and because it has a Sensi label on it. Talk about why it's industry leading. Get nerdy with stuff. Like, that's your job. You sell this. Like, your customers expect you to be in the know. And some of us are just are really basic when it comes to how we sell like oh it smells great but why is it why are we industry leading does that make sense and this little handy dandy guide is going to help you be in just or um talk about how to why we are industry leading what makes our um reservoir in our deluxe diffuser top notch all these frogs the louder i get the louder they get it's like a competition Anyway, um, what I really love also too is like for the Scentsy Go, it tells you um, the spaces that it will throw the scent for. It tells you how many hours, like, did you know that we have two different kinds of Scentsy Goes? And did you know that there's a marked difference between one only lasts up to 10 hours, one lasts up to 18 hours? Do you know the difference? Do you understand what makes our oils top notch? And, and how to, um, to market oil. Some of us aren't hippies. I'm a hippie. I can sell essential oils all day long because it's my jam. But many of you guys, there are products in the catalog that you haven't grown up using or really have taken um, a path at loving. And so you don't know how to market it. You can use our oils and not know how special they are because maybe it was the first time you've ever used an oil, right? 
or maybe you've never tried any other kind of laundry stuff. And so you don't have anything to base it on. Why are we better than every, everything else you need to know? And so this um, handy dandy product training guide, I believe does that very well. Talks about the features and the benefits of so many of our products and gives you little ideas on how to market it better. Like this wording right here, how to have a party. Did I, am I pointing to the right spot? I don't know. But anyway, like there are little bitty ideas um, tells you why, like our, our pet shampoo is sulfate free. Have you ever done a research? Have you ever looked into why sulf why people want sulfate free? Well, now you know how to search it now, just because it was in here. Now you understand why are we paraben free? Why are we gluten free? Like these are things that we should be marketing and making sure that we understand how to solve problems with our products, right? Okay, so I'm going to give one of these away. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go back to Karina's and I'm going, oh shoot, let me just see. Training guide, I'm going back, I'm going to back. Okay, so I, Karina, hold up how many fingers is the last number of your consultant ID number? <laughs> wait let's, let's repeat the question <laughs> what's the last number of your consultant id number four okay so um i ask you guys to comment with something special that karina said so we're going with the fourth comment kim white i love your heart i mean i love 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 your heart she says thanks karina that was comment number one Crystal says, stay within your budget. budget. That's two. Renee Britt said, extra buy extra training guides. That was three. And Jenny Man, J-N-Y Man, you said, get what you can afford. Don't overdo it. Jenny Man or J-N-Y-M-A-N, will you privately message me? I'll put my number in the chat. And will you privately message me with your address? You get a giveaway. And if I said Jenny Man wrong, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so moving on with um, some more tips. Um, oh, I'm up. Fancy that, right? Okay, so some extras, if, if, if your budget allows it. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that some of you guys might should do and host, even today, it wouldn't be too late for you to do a fundraiser on your own personal website and name that fundraiser all the fall stuff and let your customers know that every that 100% of the proceeds from that party is going to help you stock up on fall stuff so that you can be the best consultant ever. Did you follow me there? I know you make a paycheck and I know that you are have been maybe setting aside a little bit of money to help you um, get some of these fall winter supplies that we all want to get. But what if your customers knew that when they ordered from you, it was going to go straight back into their pocket, that you were going to use these things to make samples and get catalogs. The very things that you were going to do, the, the very thing that you were going to do with that party was actually going to go straight back to them. I do that when I need a new printer. I do that when I need, I don't even know, just a lot of different things. I did it. I don't buy a computer all the time, but the last time I bought a computer, I did the very thing. I let my customers know, hey, homegirl needs a new computer so she can be the best consultant ever. Like I'm saving up all 100% of the proceeds of this party is going to helping me get a new. And then I let them know. And I went back to the post and I was like, thank you, little Debbie. Thank you so much for your order. I'm, I'm a little bit closer to getting a new computer to help me be a good consultant for you. And I got them in on the journey. And a lot of you guys might be robbing your customers of a blessing because they don't know what you're spending your money on. They have no idea. Why should they get behind you and be supporting you on your journey if they don't know that they're going to see the return, right? And so communicate that with them. And the best way to communicate that is to absolutely just communicate it. So name your party, whatever the heck you want. Take the, the I know we don't get paid until the 10th of the month. So technically you probably should have done this last month, but it's never too late to build that strong foundation. We talked about that, right? So I actually think that I forgot some of my show and tell. I'm really mad about myself about that, but it's okay. Um, so if you can budget for some extras, here's some things that I would get. I would get a consultant guide. It looks like this. It is different than the product guide, okay? 
The consultant guide is far different and it is to be used differently. Now, when you got your starter kit, you probably got something like this, but for many of us, that was a, quite a while ago, right? And things have changed and we might have lost that new feeling, right? That brand new, just fresh feeling. I love getting these because it also takes me back to the basics. And we all know how important it is. Every single, I'm going to say every new catalog, you need to think about building your business like you did in the early days when you were brand new. Okay. So every time we launch a new catalog and I'm buying my business supplies, I buy myself one of these. In the consultant guide, it does talk about the compensation plan. It does talk about sensational start. So there are some things that might not apply to where you are. It does remind you of the different awards and the different things that you can get. Um, but I also love it. Where's the, oh, I, this is the page I wanted to get to because it reminds me because our IT has changed a lot. And if, for those of you that were around in 2009 and 2010, our IT and our website and the functionality of our workstation, the back office part of what we do, oh my gosh, it's changed a lot. And so if you're relying on a consultant guide from when you first began Sensi, this page probably is going to catch you up and show you and talk to you about some ways that you can customize your personal website in ways that you probably didn't remember. Things that you can do on your workstation tab that you might not be super sure of. It also talks about international um, selling. It talks about sponsoring in other regions and how to do that and what the fees are if there's a fee. It talks about Oh my gosh, talks about Sensi Club, talks about why parties. Um, maybe it is that you need a refresher on why events. I hate to call them parties. I'm not going to lie. I wish they changed that terminology, but whatever. <laughs> um, why do we do in-person events? What's so special? What is magical about having an in-person event coming off of COVID and the craziness that we've had in the last couple of years? This page is pretty important to all of us, no matter how long you've been in Sensi. Um, there are, I just, I can't even talk about it. Like, I can't even give you all the things that it talks about. I mean, the six, the six skills of Sensi, oh, host, coach, hostess coaching. There's a whole page for hostess coaching, how to present, how to set up a party, how to do things online, what to do. It gives you two days after booking one week before the party, three days after the party, the day before the party. I mean, guys, Oh my gosh, it goes, there's a whole page for follow-up. There's a whole page for sponsoring. There's a Scentsy glossary full of all those weird words that sometimes we have like, um, you know, like terminology, like TWV. What the heck does that mean? Or what about LPRV? So who right now knows what LPRV means? Put it in the chat. I wonder how many of you guys are stumped by that one. LPRV, do you know what that means? Put it in the chat. Oh my gosh. And it also has a really fun page for standards. The rules have changed since 2009. And rules make my brain hurt. Since these standards make my brain hurt. And yes, support is always there for me when I need a quick answer. But you know what? I can kind of educate myself and stay up to breast on things with just looking at this page. But one of the most valuable parts of this entire booklet is the last page. Because it tells you the phone numbers and the emails of all the things and all the contacts that we need to have. Like, did you know that there's a special email just for sales tax, a special email just that deals with personal website, scent and warmer of the month and international fees. There's a special email address just for questions that involve um, everything like product ideas, media relations. I mean, like finances, um, maybe you're ha you have a tax question. It, it's there. So I highly recommend this. It's called a consultant guide. And I hope I've sold it to you in a real, really fun way because it is super important. Okay. There's a transition oil set. Now I've already talked about how I sell oils because I love oils, but some of you guys are literally cutting yourself short in your PRV and even your customer base, because you only want to focus on one part of the catalog and you forget that there's a big broad spectrum. So Kim White and I went to Cincy Family Reunion. Well, a lot of us went to Cincy Family Reunion. Let me rephrase that. Kim White and I were chatting with someone from the home office that handed us this really fun report. And I realized at a glance that I am not a very good kids seller. The kids product line and I aren't doing very good. 
And it was very, it was like a shot in the arm to me that I'm losing out on PRV and I'm losing out on potential new customers because I've not been marketing the kids line very well. Luke is 15 and he doesn't really want buddies and all the things. And I, I shouldn't let that stop me from marketing the entire product list that we have, right? And so I challenge you, if oils haven't been your thing, I challenge you to host a party yourself and get yourself a diffuser and some oils and learn why you love it. At least learn what it's about. Take pictures with it. Talk about it. I have some customers that I only was able to nail because I marketed the essential oils. They're not wax and warmer people. They're essential oil people. And I am so thankful that I made that part of my selling because if not, I would be missing out on their business. Make sense? Okay, host and join brochures. This is the one thing I don't have to show you um, because I'm a dumb butt and I did not order them. I ordered all of my supplies July 1st and forgot to order the host and join brochure. So anyway, they're super inexpensive. And you know, sometimes we don't get the opportunity to have a conversation with everybody that we need to. Life is busy. People don't have time to talk. And so I love the host and join brochures because it's literally a conversation on a page. I can drop those host and join brochures into my customers' bags, or I can mail them across the world. And it's like having a conversation. And so I challenge you guys, I think you get 25 for $3, or I believe that that's the price. I could be wrong. But anyway, you can also print them off on Vistaprint. Um, and you can personalize them that way as well. So just go to the workstation, click on the Vistaprint link, and it'll take you. I feel like these frogs are going to take over my house. Um, anyway, so category brochures, um, these are like maybe the laundry category. So I challenge you to find a category brochure in a category that you are not doing very well in. You know what that category is. Is it the clean line? Is it the laundry line? Is it the body products? Or is it the pet line maybe? I want you to think about a category that you're not doing very great in, and I want you to get those brochures and try to help you to try to help you market what you're kind of a little bit low in, if that makes sense. Okay, ah, I got more to talk about. The, cat, the catalog binder insult insert. I also don't, I never buy this um, because I don't give catalog a hard copy of like a binder type style. I don't give that to my hostesses and I don't have one, but if that's your jam, if binder type systems are your jam, then literally I think you will love this because it is very durable and it is super professional and you can, it fits into a six by nine uh, binder and you can get one of those from like Staples or Office Max or even Amazon. You can have a hard copy that's super professional um, of the catalog. So it is a great investment. I just don't have one to show you because I've never done that, okay? All right, so pro tip, you can also cut up one of your catalogs. So where did my catalog go? You can cut one of these up and you can actually put it in your own binder um, to save money. It's less expensive. You do have to buy the page protectors for it, but those are not very expensive either. Um, so, and then you can hole punch them if you don't want to buy the page protectors, but I would buy the page protectors, okay? Oh my gosh, that's it for me. I'm going to ask you, what was it that I said? that you felt like you needed to hear. And then while you're typing, I'm turning it over to Miss Connie Hale, different from the other Connie that you got to hear from a minute ago. So as I'm getting her on screen, go ahead and put in the comments what it was that I said that made you feel like a little bit more excited about um, what we are doing. All right, Miss Connie, you're up. I'm going to pause, or mute these frogs. <laughs> I, I also suffer from frogs. Um, they like to keep us up at night. It's fantastic. I love living in the South. Um, anyway, so hi guys, I'm Connie Hale. Um, I apologize for the bad lighting. I was not having the energy to plug in a ring light. So you're getting the light from a laptop. But um, so bear with me, I talk really fast. So buckle up, let's go. I wanna talk about the stuff that is leaving us. And that is the um, product sheets and the catalogs and all this paperwork and paraphernalia that you have from spring and summer. Now I have to admit what I used to do is I would say, oh, fall stuff's coming in. I would box it all up and ship it on out into the garbage can and that would be it. And I realized what an opportunity I was missing by just chucking all of it. Um, so I'm gonna start with, we had these, right? Yay, wait, how did Laura say it? Bam, it's like, you gotta go bam. 
that's how it is. Um, th these are gold. These are gold. I know they're on back order. Order them. Um, they are gold. They go out with every single piece of mail that I give year round. Number one, um, Laura, you said about how you like to fold it. it. It's it's all in the fold because guess what? This is the same size as, and guess what else? This is the same size as, and guess what else? This is the same size as. You guys, all of this fits into one envelope. Hello, that's it. Um, sometimes people need that little reminder of, oh, crud, I forgot I have to refresh my Sensi. And what a time to buy it because it's all on sale right now. <laughs> Hello, people didn't even know about it. Um, so number one, I already got rid of all mine. Mine are all gone. I sat down as soon as we hit July, I packaged all this up and I shipped it all out the right way with a stamp on it to my customer's mailboxes intentionally. Um, so mailing it is number one. You got the stickers, slap a bunch of stickers all over the envelope and make it fun. Um, that makes it fun for the people to see it coming in. If you have catalogs left over, God bless you. Um, get rid of these before you get to that last month. Get rid of them. Um, I ordered two packs and I'm with them all gone. But these little sheets, if you ever saw this floating around, if not, ask your director. Maybe they have the Canva link to it. Look at that. You could put all stickers for cleaning, for clothes, for the pet line, for like, look at that. All they need is a sniff. That's getting rid of your stickers, okay? Now you have your testers. They're not lip glosses. You have testers, okay? So many things you could do with these. The best thing you could do with them, you guys, is gift them. Um, people like to get things. They like to get things for free. I love to get things for free. Some of the stupidest little things I find is fabulous and, and it has such a memory, uh, a core memory for me. But something as simple as one or two of these little samples, put them in a baggie. Look at this, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, wherever you get your stuff. Look how cute this little flamingo bag is. Ziploc bag. You fold these up real cute. You tuck them in. You put some wax in there. Put about five in your bag before you leave the house every day. And then get rid of all five of those intentionally before you come back home, okay? Don't just pass it off. Don't just drop it somewhere. Do not leave it on somebody's doorstep. First of all, that's illegal. Don't be doing that. <laughs> not just in someone's development. You like literally can't leave stuff on people's doorsteps or in their mailbox. Don't do it. Um, especially when it has your name attached to it. <laughs> oh my God, don't do that. Um, however, passing these out, best way to do it, say, can I, ma'am, is it okay if I give you some free goodies? Who's gonna say no to that? Oh, sure, thank you, thank you. And maybe you just made that person's day. And guess what? Contact information. If they look at it and they say, oh, Sensi, oh yeah, uh, you know, I've been meaning to place an order. Holy cow. And guess what else you tucked in there? A join brochure. Because so guess what you're gonna say? You're gonna say, and you know what? We start our fall catalog next month. What a time to start. Boy, am I going to have a stockpile of funds for my Christmas list this year. Why don't you hop on board? You can join that with me. Just do it. Just say it, right? Just do it. Just join. This is the time. Get on now. I didn't have any caffeine today. I'm just going to put that out there. All right. That is it. That is it, you guys. So please, please, I implore you, do not throw your stuff out. Do not get rid of it until July 31st. When July 31st midnight hits, then you can throw the rest away. But you shouldn't have any left over because you're passing it out intentionally because everything's on sale. And guess what? Don't just leave it. Get that contact info. This could be a whole nother spiel to talk about. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, ask your director or your upline about putting a QR code on your phone that brings them right to your website. That worked for me because someone saw Sensi on the back of my car. She was, oh my God, girl, I just moved her. I need Sensi. She was driving away. I held up my phone. She scanned it. I said, there's my website. Screenshot that you got me. She placed an order. Done. So that's all. It. I'm done. You're, you're the greatest. Thank you so much. Oh my yes, gosh. There were so many fun things that Connie just talked about. So drop something in the comments. Let her know which part really spoke to you. Um, whether you know this or not, we don't get paid for doing these trainings. None of these, all these directors volunteered. And um, so it is super helpful for our hearts. We know that we've been a blessing to you in some way, shape or form. So blow up that chat with the thing that stood out to you the most, your aha moment. I have some bad news for you. The person that was supposed to speak next um, wasn't able to make it. So you get me again because I literally found out maybe two to three minutes before we came to our meeting tonight. So oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, but I'll make it quick. They were going to just talk to you about being wise and understanding that you need to have a budget for your business and the new catalog is a great time to have a fresh start. 
Um, and if you've never budgeted for your personal life, then that is not an out. That's not an excuse for you to not budget in your business life. Every successful business in the world is run by someone that knows how to manage their money. And so you need to know how to manage yours and start with your business. And then more than likely, you're going to be a better, um, better in your finance, in your personal finances as well. So you need to be wise on how you spend your marketing dollars. And what's super important is that you don't get caught up in buying all the things. Like literally each one of you are learning different things that are important to each one of us. But just because I buy a sweatshirt in the Cincy Family Store doesn't mean that every single Cincy consultant in America or in the UK needs to buy one. See, my budget may be a little bit different for jogging pants and pens and all the fancy things. But if your budget's not there, then be wise enough and smart enough to realize that that's not where you are right now. And so buy the things that you know are going to be um, a good return on your investment. So look at those catalogs as an investment. Look at those, um, at, you know, these different brochures that we're showing you and different guides. Look at them as an investment. Um, and then be smart enough to know that, hey, I may not see a return on that. Or is there a cheaper way to get that done? Um, and then always be that person that checks it. Because guess what? In this business, you are both the CEO and the chief financial advisor and the chief marketing officer. You're all the things all in one. And that shouldn't make you feel crazy. That should give you a lot of energy because you're able to make all, you're calling all the shots, right? You don't have anybody to answer to. And that's exciting. So a lot of things are great. There's dog blankets. There's dog leashes. I'm sorry. There's blankets and there's dog leashes there's doormats and jogging pants and fancy pants pins and personalize this and personalize that you don't have to get it all it doesn't mean that you're going to fail figure it out be wise and make good choices okay all right so that was that section and then um our we only have two sections left i'm going to try to speed through this um I was, uh, let's see, last night, one of our presenters messaged me and they couldn't get out of work. They tried really hard to get out of work. But anyway, so I'm covering their topic too, and I'll talk fast. I know you guys get really tired of hearing me talk, but anyway, we ran out of volunteers, so it's me. Anyway, so um, let's see, you know, of all the things that they were going to talk about, the biggest thing that they were going to talk about were these things right here. Actually, hold on. Don't let me lie. I have two more. Okay. So it is the new season sales kits. Can anybody confirm or deny that the sales kits are still, still available? Cause I was going to check into that and my life got a little crazy today. Um, does anybody know if all of the sales kits are still available? Cause they are while supplies last and I don't want to take for granted or waste anybody's time. You They're don't, still available. they are. Okay. Thank you. All right, so um, I'm just gonna go through them really quickly. Take a screenshot of your screen so that I don't have to talk over these frogs because a picture is worth a thousand words. So we have a clean kit. Take a picture. The price is on there, isn't it? Just kidding. I don't think the price is on there. I fail. <laughs> but you get 25 PRV, 28 I meant to say, I'm just making things up. So if you're bad, at selling, or if your clean selling is kind of low, it sounds to me like you might need to invest in a new season sales kit. It sounds to me like it would be a really good thing to take to your customers and say, hey guys, I'm doing a fundraiser for the new season sales kit so I can make samples for you. Boom, right? Why would you not want them to be part of that, right? Let them in on what you're gonna do with this. And then also, what are you doing? Here's the laundry one if you wanna take a screenshot. You get 35 PRV. The frogs agree, this is a good, good idea. So why would you let your customers in on wanting to help you get these new season sales kits early? You don't have to tell them what's in it but it's another perk of being a consultant. So, I mean, you're constantly trying to make them realize how fun Sensi is, right? And you know they would give their eye teeth, is that the thing to say? To get their hands on the new stuff. 
And that's a perk of being a consultant. Hey, here's the home kit. Take a picture of it. You get 210 PRV on this, guys. I don't ever remember getting PRV on sales kits before. Since he's really being generous this year, you guys. I got each one of the sales kits. Are you allowed to get two of them? Because I feel like I got two of them. Yeah, I did. You're, you're allowed to get at least two because <laughs> I was so happy about this. I literally want to sleep with this underneath my pillow. Like I am a, I am an eight-year-old that just can't part with her brand new favorite toy. This fluffy fleece truly should have been named Laura, Laura's smell, because I love this smell. And when I heard that it was coming out in laundry, I literally about lost my crap. I am so happy about fluffy fleece. But then there's all kinds of other things like vanilla waves and in the Scentsy Soak. Sign me up. I'm just so excited, you guys. Okay, moving on. The scent sales kit. I've already been making samples all day long today of different um, sales kit stuff. So take a picture of this. You also can go to your workstation, type in sales kit. And I think the magic will happen. Okay, guys, the sales kit is your ticket to hitting August 1st head on, ready to go. Because guess what? If you don't get the sales kit, then you have to wait in line with all your customers. Boo. You can't get the new stuff until since the, like August 1st, everybody wakes up and they're like placing their orders. And so you have to wait in line with all your dang customers to get your stuff. And wouldn't it be sad if your customers got their new fall winter stuff before you did? It can happen. Whoever lives closest to the warehouses, that's who wins. Mama lives a far, far away from Dallas and Lexington. So this is why I'm so happy for these because I've already got them. They're in my house. I'm taking pictures of them, smelling them, using them myself. Don't tell my customers that, but it's, it's true. I mean, guys, I am so excited about this because I get my hands on it before anybody else and I can market it, make samples of it. And in my mail, I shipped out 25 packages today and at least 25 will go out tomorrow making samples of all the new stuff. They're going to get it in their hands before August 1st because they've got an all-in Scentsy girl taking care of them, right? I don't play. My customers get the VIP red carpet. I do not play. And so if you want your customers to brag on you like that, you better think about planning ahead and not waiting until August 1st. And the sales kit are the best way to do just that. Okay, I went through that fast. So I'm so thankful that you don't have to listen to me anymore. We have one final speaker. Go ahead and drop in the comments just out of respect for Ashley and Josh, who could not be with us tonight. And I had to cover their topics. Drop in the comments your favorite parts of what they were going to talk about. And then I'm going to turn it over to the amazing charity, Burgess. And she is going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for being, for being on and listening. Charity, I'm going to leave it with you. All right. Can everybody hear me? Okay. So I want to start with a question. Drop it in the comments. How much is the starter kit? Drop in the comments how much the starter kit is. So we guys are doing that. I want to tell you a little story. So Andy is my young man. He wanted some cereal and like 30 minutes before this started and we were out. <laughs> so luckily there's a Dollar General like literally five minutes down the road, the road. So I said, put your shoes on, let's go. I'll go take you to the store and get you some cereal. But while we were there, I was like, look at the cereal. Tell me what you want. I was willing to get like four because we were seriously out. We go through cereal like crazy. I promise you this has a relevance to this. <laughs> so while we were standing there, he was like, I want this and this and this. And he pointed to different boxes. So I was like, oh, well, let me get this one and let me get this one and let me show you why. And this one. Now I may have paid 25 cents or 50 cents more to get the family size or the one that had a little bit more in it. But to me, it was the value of it. I was getting more for a little bit less. So let me see. Yep, $49. Good job. In July right now, we have a $49 join kit. Join, like seriously, you get all the stuff that we got for the $99 kit for $49. So 
a lot of times we market this as like the super size kit, but what if that's not working for you and you can word it differently? Like I have a family size kit for you. I have 30% more in this kit this month for you that if you were to sign and get this, it doesn't even cost you 25 cents more or 50 cents more. It's actually half of what we're paying. Like who does that? So if you've been struggling to get people to join at the $25 because they get, don't get very much, offer this kit. It's $49. And so I'm going to read off all the contents. Just you're going to be blown away. If you haven't looked at the contents, go to the join link on your website, scroll all the way down, and it will show you what's in the kit. So you get the classic curve. Oops. Charity, what happened? Water and cucumber car bar, coconut lemongrass stickers, um, Luna stickers, the oil scented stickers, eucalyptus, eucalyptus lavender, jasmine white tea and oil scented stickers, sample packet for laundry body and clean. And guess what? You can put those stickers, those scented stickers on your samples. Um, the sample packets that we buy, because you can't smell them through the package, obviously. Uh, you get the classic curve felt samples. You get the spring and summer fragrance so they can finish out selling for this catalog season. And then you get the fall and winter testers for next catalog. You get a quick start guide. You get the product training guide, the pack of spring, summer catalogs, the fall and winter catalogs, the fall and winter product list, the body category brochures, the clean category brochures, the laundry category brochures, the pet brochures, the host and join brochures, order forms, invitation postcards, thank you postcards, merchandise sacks, mini zip sacks, and starter exclusive insulated zip. Holy cow. Like who wouldn't want to get this entire list of stuff for $49? Crazy crazy. So we have a, a great opportunity right now to offer this kit to people at 50% off, but almost 50% more. I mean, you're getting the catalogs and the testers, and that's a huge chunk of what you would purchase in the consultant store anyway. So um, most of those though are while supplies last. So like your spring, summer stuff is while supplies last. So usually they don't, I've, I've Let's see, I've been doing this 12 years. I haven't heard one time of it selling out of a certain, like the spring, summer stuff to get a kit. Maybe, maybe once that I'm now thinking about it, but most of the time they have enough in the kits. They've set aside enough to be able to accommodate all of the join people towards in this transition month. Um, let's see why this is a big deal is because not only are they getting spring, summer and fall, they're getting the opportunity to get their customers at a 10% discount and 20. So they're offering their customers immediately at a sale. And then guess what? Next catalog rolls around, they're having to pay full price, which they're not going to be mad about because you already gave them a sale to begin with. And then um, you can have that conversation about, you know, if you like this every six months, you know, we have a transition month but you could get paid on your purchases. So it's getting that kit and being excited about that kit, going on social media and opening that kit, encourage the people that you sign up to go on social media and show their kit off and say, guess what I got for just 40, all of this for $49. Um, it's just being excited about the kit. And especially during transition month, because we get so much in it. So go out there. You have until July 31st, it's what, 10 days from now? You have until July 31st to offer this kit to as many people as you can for $49. I'm done. Thank you, Charity. Awesome. All right, you guys. So drop in the chat the things that Charity said that truly ignited your soul and your sensey spirit. And then we are all finished. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Um, thank you huge to all of our speakers that um, volunteered their time to come and um, share with you a different idea that will help you transition and make this your most successful catalog. Because guys, you've got everything it takes. Like we have a lineup that's not like anything I've ever seen before with these LTOs that are coming out with the harvest and the holiday brochure, which we didn't even have time to talk about tonight. Like this catalog is life. 
this incentive um, period that's starting August 1st, it is amazing. We have so much, so, so, so much in store. And if you're sitting thinking that you can't make this your best catalog, then you must have been ignoring us for the last hour because there's so much that will, uh, that's going to set your Sensi business on an upward trend, but you got to be prepared for it. So I want you to, after we get finished tonight, I want you to think about the things that you put in the comments. Each speaker brought something to the table that was impactful and um, hopefully inspired you. And, and those are the things that I want you to wake up and do something about tomorrow. We shared a lot of ideas. You can't do everything we said tonight. You can't buy everything we talked about tonight. But what if you only worked at being like 1% better? What would that look like? One idea better. It could be game changing. So wake up tomorrow, do big things, share something that you learned tonight with your team. Even if you don't have anybody underneath you, you've got a Sensi or a, a Sensi sister or a mister that you know that would love some of these tips. Hopefully you took notes. Hopefully you remember what you put in the comments. Um, I am so proud of you for being on. Give it up and brag on all of these amazing speakers that took time to speak to you tonight. Peace out. Pray for these frogs, y'all. <laughs> all right, bye.